Okay, I'm uh, I'm back out. It's Sunday night. Decided to go out for a ride after dinner, and I decided as long as I was going out for a ride, I would throw the camera on the bike and take the Ninja. And I thought I would take a ride over into Cape May. Uh, it's about 7:30 on Sunday night, and I thought it might be a good time to take a run through town to show uh, what some of the uh, restaurants look like with their setup for outdoor dining on a typical weekend night. I'm just coming over onto the end of the Garden State Parkway. I just took Route, uh, route 9 down to the uh, very end and this is, it dumps you to the uh, exit zero uh, part of the Garden State Parkway. And, you know, I'm crossing over the bridge now to come into uh, Cape May. This is the uh, this is the Cape May Marina on my left. I showed this on a video uh, several years ago. This is Lucky Bones on the right, under the same ownership of the Washington Mall. Washington, you can see the outdoor seating there, by the way. Um, Lucky Bones is the same ownership as the Washington Inn and Cape May Winery. I probably was going a little too fast but you could see the tent set up in the back parking lot of Lucky Bones. This takes you right into uh, Cape May on Lafayette Street. I've now entered the city of Cape May I think what I'm going to do is go down and uh, enter the uh, city via Washington uh, Street. Hopefully by doing this I can share with you uh, the outdoor dining for the Washington Inn. Washington Inn is a, an outstanding fine dining establishment in in Cape May. It ranks uh, on a par with the Peter Shields Inn. Um, it's really uh, excellent dining, excellent uh, service. It's, as you would suspect, it's, a, it's very pricey, but in my judgment, it is worth every penny. Probably the only uh, possible downside to the Washington Inn that some people might feel exist is that it is not a BYO, which Peter Shields is. This is Washington Street, and uh, actually my wife and I looked at a home here when we were uh, searching for a property down here, and probably the biggest financial mistake of our life was not buying the property when we had an opportunity to. This is the uh, Emlyn Physic Estate, and this is where the uh, Cape May Crab and Beer Fest is every year. I shared that a few years ago. That was canceled this year because of the uh, COVID-19. COVID It's a very nice uh, evening to be out for a ride on the bike. 
as you can see traffic is light but up in front you can see one of the handsome cabs pulling out in front of me now up here on the right is the Washington Inn and you can see how they have set up outdoor dining for their guests This other mansion. Victorian Tower, um, a facility for, I think, uh, low income, or there's some kind of a income limitation. You can see the uh, people dining outdoors here. This is Frida's Cafe. They set up tables. another handsome cab I'm turning down U Street uh, trying to get down to show uh, the Marion Inn which is another fine dining establishment in Cape May this is coming up on Decatur Decatur is the street that I pointed out recently is uh, close to traffic up at the mall. Here on my right is the Washington Inn. You can see the uh, umbrellas and the tables set up. This is uh, a parking lot. You can see the level of social distancing. So it's really remarkable to me to see the resiliency of uh, the hospitality industry here in Cape May. Uh, they have done a remarkable job responding to extremely adverse uh, business conditions that they could not possibly have foreseen. And as I said, I'm sure they uh, they are all just simply striving to survive this year as best they can. Looks like it's a pretty nice crowd here on, uh, on Sunday night. I'm going to turn up Ocean Street here to show Althea's restaurant. This is uh, the restaurant within the Inn of Cape May.
and you can see over there the tables and umbrellas set up on their lawn. going to take a ride up to uh, see how Oyster Bay has set up their outdoor dining. And I'll try to go slow here and give a, a, a good look down the uh, Washington Street Mall to give you some perspective on the, the crowd. You can see it's a very busy mall. Oyster Bay is a restaurant uh, on the left hand side of Lafayette after I make this turn at Lafayette. It's really not visible to you on the, uh, on the video but it's also a, a pretty good restaurant. I don't know that I would put it in the same uh, category as um, Washington Inn and Peter Shields Inn but uh, it is also not a BYO but it's a good restaurant no one would be disappointed going to Oyster Bay and this is Oyster Bay you can see some people sitting out there and I think they have a parking lot in the back, and they have seating out back, too. I'm going to take a run down to Peter Shields Inn to see if I can uh, share with you uh, what their seating arrangement looks like. Although these restaurants all have outdoor seating and are accommodating guests, it's nowhere near the capacity that they would have otherwise had uh, were it not for the prohibition against all indoor dining in the state of uh, New Jersey.
really a very nice crowd here for a Sunday night. It's actually very crowded here. This is Harry's Bar and Grill off to the left. And obviously I'm on Beach Drive in Cape May. To the right of me is the Atlantic Ocean over these dunes. So up here to the left, the building with the uh, white, two white pillars just in front of the green uh, Victorian structure is Peter Shields Inn. And you can see people dining out on the uh, on the porch, on the front steps.
and I'm just driving around now to give uh, some views of um, of Cape May. I'll try to drive down a couple of streets that are sort of off the beaten track that probably a lot of people don't even know exist in Cape May. another hotel you can see everybody sitting out social distancing I'll turn up here and just give an example of some of these little streets like here's one Page Street this looks like a, a driveway if you didn't know better but this is actually a street you turn into this street and on the left looks like another driveway but this is a street and there's some homes up there I'm back up to Washington. This is the Washington Inn again on the far right hand corner. You can see all the guests sitting out enjoying their dinner. Washington Street comes to an end here at the Washington Street Mall so this would be a good opportunity to try to get a look down the mall to see what kind of crowd there is and as you can see I think it's uh, it's quite crowded no sign of uh, a pandemic When I make a left here, I'll uh, direct your attention to Elaine's.
the lanes is to my right and you can see how they have set everything up outdoors it's a very busy crowd this is 410 Bank Street the dining for 410 Bank Street right there 410 Banks is a uh, a fine dining establishment that in my judgment is on a par with um, Washington Inn and Peter Shields Inn 410 Bank Street is sort of a Cajun New Orleans style cuisine So that's it. That's all I wanted to show on this uh, on this ride. I think I'll pull over and stop this video. And uh, I hope that uh, this gave you uh, anyone that is viewing this video some sense for what Cape May looks like. At least what the uh, hospitality industry and the restaurant industry looks like in the uh, in the wake of. Uh, coronavirus. So with that, I will say good night, and uh, I'm I'm sort of enjoying. Uh, I always enjoy going for rides on my motorcycles, but I'm sort of into the mode of uh, spending more time on the Ninja than I otherwise normally would. And when I'm on the Ninja, I, I've recently decided to just throw the camera on the helmet and record these videos. So I hope someone out there is uh, getting some enjoyment from them. So take care. Thanks for watching.